Dash 2013 dash 2006 staff, if you would please present this case. Before we move on, Mr. Chairman, was that last vote five to two or four to three? Five to two. Five to two. Okay. Five to two. I miscounted hands. <laughs> All right, Mr. Chairman, the next item is also a conditional use request for a personal care home. This is from Teresa Patterson, a property located in RP zoning. It consists of two tenths of an acre located at 108 East Adair Street. This is along the north side of the street, um, one and a half lots to the west of Slater. Um, the property contains an existing professional office building of nearly 2,500 square feet. It was a former residence that was converted many years ago. On the screen you see uh, pictures of the subject property, um, kind of a historic looking building. And a good reason for that is this is also located in Valdosta's local historic district, uh, which simply means that any changes that go on to the site or to the exterior of the building must go through the Historic Preservation Commission. Um, this was a former residence converted into a law office. Now the applicant is uh, wanting to convert the building back to a personal care home. Um, this is sort of similar to the request that we heard earlier. The difference is the site. Um, this property has an existing rear parking lot that was used by the professional office, so there is no parking issue here whatsoever. Um, this building is also much larger and can accommodate, you would think, some more people. However, it has been inspected by the state, um, and based on the fire marshal's report, um, the most it can accommodate is four persons, plus a resident manager. Um, and hence, staff's recommended conditions, which need to be changed a little bit from what we could talk about at the work session. Uh, this is RP neighborhood. It's not quite a single family neighborhood like we had in the other case. Here it is a mixture of existing residential and professional offices. So some of the issues pertaining to conditional uses are not quite as applicable here. Um, but we still have to be mindful of the neighborhood. Staff have found it consistent with the comp plan and our conditional use criteria. And we're recommending approval with the two conditions. First being conditional use approval shall be granted for a personal care home with no more than four residents plus one resident manager. Number two, conditional use approval shall expire after two years if the personal care home is not licensed and operating by that date. All right. Are there any questions for the staff and the commissioners? <coughs> Matt, we're seeing a lot of these. Y'all are checking uh, to change for these. Uh, these homes like this, y'all are checking, making sure there's, we're not getting a bunch of them in, in one place. And yes, so we keep a, in fact, we have a database that right. has recently yeah. been actually rebuilt by one of our interns um, to verify where these licensed facilities are. Right. One of the ongoing concerns is there may be some unlicensed facilities out there, which are a problem in a multitude of ways, not just land use, um, but there are none currently right around this area. There's some further down the street on board, but that's a few blocks away. Um, so it's not a concern here. Just worried about proximity of, of other group homes. Right, and you saw the information that's in this packet as well about the closing of Southwest Hospital. Right. Mm -hmm. um, my guess is we will be seeing more of these requests coming forward in the next several months. Um, but with the city on the small scale residential areas, um, state licensed facilities, um, generally not a big issue. When you start getting into larger facilities or facilities that are not licensed by the state, then it's a whole different animal. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions from the commissioners? All right. If there being none, I will now um, have anybody who wants to come speak in favor of this request. Hello, my name is Teresa Patterson, and basically I, I plan on operating a personal, personal care home on um, East Adair Street, and it, does, it would have 24 hours, seven days a week supervision um, for the residents, and however, some of the res most or all, probably would be attending a day program, and my main concern was because of all the area um, lawyer's office and other residential, um, personal residential. Uh, my concern was um, 
noise or something like that towards them. So that's why I'm, I'm presenting that it would have the 24 hours, seven days a week supervision. Counselor, as far as the residents, most of the residents are coming from Southwest, and I see there are a lot of concerns about that. But um, we are learning to work with a lot of these people that are coming out of these facilities that have behavioral problems and mental issues. The state requires that we have to take certain classes to be able to deal with these residents coming out of the community. Um, with the 24 hour supervision and it was consistent with the medication and with daytime programs that would also be required with each resident and operating person care home. There will be a facility here also in Valdosta that would help with a lot of these people coming out of Southwest, Southwest, excuse me, with mental issues. I myself have been working with the club now seven years and I have seen a change in a lot of them. And I think that we also took the time to <coughs> follow the state issues and can you give us your name and, and address for the records as well? For our I minutes? Can you just I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm a person, so it's like a family. Any questions from the commissioners to the presenters? I, I, I wasn't clear. It, it wasn't really clear as to where is your thrust going to be with these individuals. Well, get the ball, trying to help them back out exercise. I hear that. Mm -hmm. But they have some some pretty rough. Yes. Uh, are you trying to stay away from that, or are you just taking what they give you? Well, basically, trying to stay away from that. That's where I was yes, trying sir. to get you yes. to go. Yes, sir. So we have because I know that you have uh, the schizophrenic, yes. you have all of these yes. individuals, yes. and I know that doing your best work, uh, uh, you still have a problem with some of them. Yes, sir. Uh, I remember when I did my internship, it was at the South Florida forensic center and uh, uh, we had some people that if you just talked to them you thought that they were all right but you catch them on a bad day my 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 <laughs> yes. okay all right. <clears throat> any other questions for the commissioner just out of curiosity do you have a choice about who you get do you get to re-interview them yes. Yes, them? Okay, so you can kind of... Yes, yes. it is so level, you know. Mm -hmm. And they also kind of require, like, sometimes a three-day visitation with that president. It seems right. like you required to handle it. So you have some say over who you're bringing into yes, the right. community. Yes, sir. Okay, I was just curious. Thank you. Okay. There's no other questions, but we appreciate your presentation. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? If there being none, I will turn the request over to the commissioner for discussion. <coughs> there being no discussion, I will now take a motion from the commissioners. Chairman, Mr. Wright, I make a motion we accept the uh, CPU request under the two conditions, one being that limited to four residents and one manager as was changed and the condition approval shall expire within two years and the personal care home is not licensed and operating by that.
that date. All right, we have a motion by Mr. Rector. What's the number of years? Two years. Two years. Two years. Okay. Two years. We have a motion and a second by Mr. McClendon. Is there any discussion on the motion? There being no discussion, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. All right, the motion passes unanimously. The next item is the 